Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, Livestock's Bane. That can be picked up here in Calm at the Community Notice Board, which is right across the bridge over there. Tell me, does the latest issue have any cool fight scenes with Cactus the Seven? Oh yeah, it's got tons. I was on the edge of my seat when the King and the Prince needled it out. And does Kid G show up too? I love his mega punch. Gets me every time. Of course he shows up. But I don't want to spoil it for you. You gotta hurry up and read it so we can talk about that ending. Comic books are popular here in Kong. My kind of place. If our mockers and I can cut off, the call is finished. Doesn't matter who comes out on top. We'll lose either way. Okay, here we are at the notice board. And here's our quest, Livestock's Bane. The client is Nature-Loving Farmer. Location, Grasslands, Oliver's Farm. A clever fiend of some sort's been preying on my livestock of late. And if I can't put a stop to it, my farm's doomed. Seems clear a run-of-the-mill hunter won't cut it, so I'm in the market for a merc with solid tracking skills. Except job. Alrighty, so looking at our map, we've been to Oliver's farm before. Right there, and we're gonna fast travel. It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice and plump so they fetch a high price. Hey, glad to see Shinra hasn't got you yet. Seeing as you're here, mind help me with something? I'm Oliver, by the way, owner of this farm. Got fiend trouble. Every night it comes after my livestock. At least I assume a fiend's to blame. Think you could find and deal with it? What do you know about it? Not much, save the bastard's smart as hell. Managed to evade every trap I've set. Even hired a hunter to get rid of it, but that was a bust. How do you know Broden? The ecosystem here is something special, worth protecting. Don't want Shinra messing it up, and I'm not afraid to say so out loud. One day, some like-minded folks came around. They put me in touch with Broden and Avalanche. Impressive the way that committee is able to connect people. Sure, we'll deal with it. Appreciate it. That your dog there? Might have a pet him? I don't, but he might. Who's a good boy? It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me he's not all bark. Hey, you know, your pup might be able to track the fiend scent. Maybe try sniffing around the scene of the crime. You better be careful, dude. Red will rip your arm off. Shit, Red never cop to it. But all these monsters would be running around if it wasn't for their reactors. Truth be told, I'm one murdered animal away from losing the whole farm. Goddamn fiends. Okay, let's go check out the crime scene. It's been several days since the attack, so the scent isn't fresh. Other animals have come and gone as well. This won't be easy. Hmm. Think a chocobo could handle it? Hmm. Their sense of smell is indeed impressive, but this trail is still quite poor. Though if you wish to try, I won't stop you. Have your chocobo scent the area. Following a scent with chocobos. When the red question mark icon appears above your chocobo, it has detected a scent that warrants investigation. Controls hold up on the D-pad to sniff the air. Use the right stick to face the scent. Once you face in the direction of the scent, it will become visible. Follow the scent and press down on the D-pad to uncover the source. 
All right, bird. He's got something. <laughs> well, I still have a faint impression of the scent. Together, we can find the beast. Ooh, don't get shown up by the bird, Red. Oh, lost my trail. There it is again. And that's going to send us through some alpha dunks. Um, before we go in, something I learned um, that I didn't know. The materia that you have equipped for all characters will level up regardless of if they're in your um, combat group of three or not. So I thought that uh, the materia that Tifa and Red have right now would not level up, but it actually does. So we want to make sure that all of our characters have materia equipped. So let's take a look at our setup. Um, Cloud's got all materia slots full, but I did want to switch one. He's got precision defense focus materia. I'm going to swap that for steadfast block, which uh, will cause us to take slightly less damage and get a small ATB boost from guarding. So that should be good. I've really uh, come to appreciate counterattacking in his punisher mode. Barrett, for some reason, has an empty slot of materia. So we'll give him some chakra. Aerith is good. Red 13 doesn't have any. Let's give him, uh, I guess, a lightning. We'll do wind. Maybe a poison. And even though I don't really like it, let's go with autocast. And then Tifa's got three slots. Let's give her a steel. It's just anything we want to level up. Uh, precision, defense, focus, material is good. And I guess we'll give her an ice. Okay. Should be good. So let's go fight some alpha dunks. Here we go. Go on. Counter with plunder mode there. Let's go ahead and do a fray. Oh, dodge it. Get rid of it. Another counter that hit both of them. Let's just do a braver on him and we'll switch to Barret. Maximum fury. Not okay, where's my bird? Right there. So let's get the scent trail back. There we go. And let me go grab this material over here. You want to track it from here on out? No, the chocobo has led us this far after all. Hey, looks like we've got an orc up ahead, but we're veering off to the left. More material right here. There was a struggle here not long ago. Okay, we need a new scent trail. I can help guide the bird. Sure, it doesn't stray. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, we've got an owl there. That'll bring us to a life spring survey, but we're in the middle of a quest, Owl. You're all, you're gonna have to wait. Alright, more alpha dunks. Let's go say hello. Counter! Again, let's do a prey. Take the lead. Switch to Barret. Do maximum fury. Have Aerith get in the action. 
Let's have her use her ability. Let's have her use the Chrono Agent. Hey, over here. Don't. If I can get this soul drain off in time. Yep. Actually, did that work? I'm not sure. Okay, let's pick up our trail again. This way. Okay, we've got an orc and... Well, two orcs and a wolf, it looks like. Let's go! Let's use Cloud's uh, Fire Bolt Blade. We'll do it on that Grassland floor. Pretty good. Here we go, Sam. Oh, I guess we may as well pray again. Deal with that. Alright! Watch and learn! Watch and don't come back! Okay, where's our trail? This way. And we're going down to the shore. There. We've found it. Defeat the fiend. Stay back, Chocobo. Here we go. Nice counter there. Wow, that raised my ATV so fast. Let's do an assess. That's too right. It's a white terror. A ferocious grasslands wolf living apart from all known packs in the region. It was once left grievously wounded after losing a battle for dominance, but was able to survive by sheltering at a nearby life spring. It gradually amasses energy over time. Dealing damage or blocking its attacks will cause it to lose energy. Once all its energy has been depleted, it will become pressure. Alright, so the thing that we really need to watch out for in this is uh, it will like charge up and do this gigantic blast. So we gotta be ready for that. Oh, uh, it's doing a throat clamp. I'm trying to get that cloud, not gonna work. I guess I may as well do a prey. It's probably gonna do that blast really soon. You can see it's kind of like powering up. So let's just stay back. Yep, there it is. So if it does that big blast, then you want to block through all of the uh, fire balls that come in. Let's do a prey again, and then we'll switch to bed. Oh, get blocked. Maximum Fury, let's do Aerith. No idea. Here we go. Oh, he's charging up again. Might be doing a blast real soon. Let's have Aerith do uh, Soul Drain. Oh, trying to clamp me, not gonna happen. Is that blast coming? He's got to be coming soon. He's just about ready. And there it is. Block. Alright, we'll do a prey. Alright. Go there. Oh crap! I was not expecting that so soon. Is that it? Time to get serious. 
Alright, well, he's uh, almost uh, staggered. There we go. So we got the stagger. Let's have Aerith do that could heal Cloud, but let's just have Cloud do a prey. We'll have Barret. Yeah, a little bit more ATV. There we go. And then, uh, oh, actually, I'll have him limit break first, I suppose. And then Aerith can do a soul drain. Gonna blow your ass straight ahead. And then have Barret do maximum fury. And there we go. What? It's my sense of smell. Since my imprisonment in the Shinra building, it hasn't been the same. Before, I wouldn't have had any trouble tracking that scent. Now, though... <laughs> Perhaps this bird is willing to take on an apprentice. All right. Report to Oliver. Let's head back to the farm, and on the way, we'll hit up that life spring that the uh, owl was trying to show us. I believe there's also a fiend around there that we can do. Oh, damn, we missed some material. Okay, so... Uh, the owl was over there. I believe the life springs just up that path. We've got Elphadonks. Gonna ignore them. Oh, there's that owl. Yeah, we're gonna go up here. Huh, where'd the owl go? You wet owl. There you are. Let us partake with the planet's wisdom. Okay, here we are, a whole bunch of materials. Excavation Intel 1 Bygone Settlement. Right there on the map. So, we'll have to check that out later. Okay, so let's see. We should have a fiend around here. Yep, Fiend Intel 1 is over there. Let's go get that. So this one's uh, a pain in the butt. We need to defeat all nearby enemies. We need to pressure and stagger and avoid being poisoned. So avoid being poisoned really sucks because basically everything they do seems to poison. 
And uh, pressuring and staggering is difficult because it's just hard to not kill them in the process of trying to stagger them. So let's see how this goes. Go. Let's get an assassin right away. I got you. Know. A rare Toxy Rat variant. Its extremely aggressive nature and overwhelmingly potent venom allow it to remain undaunted in the face of creatures multiple times its size. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. So it's uh, weak against the ice. We'll need Aerith to hit that. With ice, so I guess Don't let's it. work on getting her ATB now. All right, so maybe we'll hit that one with an ice, because Cloud's working on. Well, let's see. Which one could we hit with a blizzard? Maybe we'll hit that one with the blizzard. Also, just to keep it from doing anything, which is what we really want. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Hit it with blizzard, and then we'll switch. Back to Cloud. We've got ATB now. Wait, did he? Did that one die? Did he straight up kill it? Oh no, it's it's pressured over there. All right. Well, I do have enough for a focus thrust. Um, wait on that for a second. Cause I think if I hit, I can't get a hit on that one for some reason. Oh, there we go. Oh no, that would kill it. Let's just keep working on this. In fact, I'm gonna focus thrust this because I think we could finish this stagger. Oh, it's gonna be so close. Actually, let's do regular attack. Got it, oh, that was so close. All right, let's finish this off quick before it does anything. We'll triple slash. Uh, it's such a pain in the butt to stagger them. They go down so easy. But we got it done. Uh, the focus thrust was actually a bad call. That was a very impressive battle just now. Well done. Based on the battle data you provided, I was able to generate a new virtual combat trial. Oh, and I helped too. Feel free to try it whenever the mood takes you. Go on. Hey, we got a new trial. New combat challenge, very nice. But yeah, focus thrust was not the way to go there. I should have just kept auto attacking, but luckily it worked out. So let's head back to the farm. I don't think there's anything else in this area for us to really do. Oh, got a ruby from that, very nice. Timber and a laurel there. Oh, can't quite make that jump. I wish we could. Okay. We're back at the farm. We'll avoid the alpha dunks. Here we are. It is done. You got him, did you? Made that bastard pay? Let's go. And I bet you were a big help too, weren't you? <laughs> You'll be singing a different tune when you see what I got for you. Here. Don't worry, I didn't forget you. Changing gears a bit, but uh, I heard Broden's not feeling so hot. If you swing by calm again, mind checking on him? Entering new markets. We completed a quest. New quests are available in the grasslands. Much as I want to look in on Broden myself, I can't leave the farm unattended. Bit of an ask, I know, but you mind checking on him? 
much as I want to look in on Broden myself, I can't leave the farm unattended. Alrighty, so, uh, something we haven't... Well, actually, let's check out that bracer first. We got a new item, new bracer. So let's see. We got the Owl Bracer. 15 defense and 15 magic defense. That seems pretty good. Grade 2, an ornate bracer crafted in honor of the Hermit Philosopher of the Forest, Strix. So two materia slots and uh, pretty amazing stats there. I like that. Yeah, definitely going to use that. We'll give it to Cloud, which gives us a new materia slot. What do we want for old Cloud? Um, I mean, there's not a ton to choose from unless we want to steal from somebody, which we might want to. I guess we could take the precision defense focus materia. Uh, yeah, why don't we do that? We'll take that from Tifa and we'll give Tifa something else. Tifa, you can have... I don't know. Maybe we'll give her the fire material. There we go. That'll work. Uh, okay, so how's everybody doing for their bracers? Aerith's got a metal bracer. Can we give her something better? Nope. In fact, she has the worst bracer of everybody. Interesting. Maybe we should change that. Maybe we should give her a leather one. She would lose one magic defense, but I think it's worth it. Let's give her a, le a leather bangle, and uh, Barrett can take the metal one. Sorry, Barrett. Oh, I guess it gave it to it. Gave it to him automatically. Okay. Uh, so something we haven't been doing is checking in on our item transmuter stuff. So let's see. Can we make anything new? We can make a Phoenix draft. Revives and restores a small amount of HP. Takes five numinous ashes, two pearl ginger roots, and two beast talons. Let's go ahead and make that. Okay, and then smelling salts we can make. Wake someone up. That'll take three numinous ashes, two laurels, and two beast talons. Uh, we can make a wood sprite armlet Which doesn't have the best defensive stats, but it is two materia slots and it does give us craftsmanship experience Which we want so we'll go ahead and make this it's grade one an intricately carved armlet blessed by the spirits of the forest That is 20 timber 10 mellow oak and five planets blessing. Let's do that And let's see, we can make power wrist guards. Uh, yeah, we probably should do that. These are 5% strength, which is good. We can give them Tifa. Uh, that'll be 10 beast pelts and 5 iron ore. Let's do that. And we're almost to craftsmanship 5. Let's see, we can make a bulletproof vest, maybe? That's 5% vitality. There's also earrings, which is magic power, but Aerith's the one I want to have those, and she already has them. And then a talisman for spirit. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do a bulletproof vest. Let's do this. Uh, so that'll take 10 iron ore and 5 beast pelts. So that'll be the uh, rest of my beast pelts. And we are craftsmanship level 5. We can now transmute a high potion, a sailor's bracer, a gold coral something, and a pair of revival earrings. Nice. Uh, let's see. High potion. We need more planet's favor for that. But we have everything else. Let's see, we can't make the Sailor's Bracer or the Gold Coral Armlet. So we're going to have to wait on those. Uh, we still can make some earrings, though. We could make a Talisman. Let's make some earrings. 
Uh, that'll be 10 iron ore and a ruby. We have lots of rubies. Let's go ahead and make that. And I think that's all of the crafting we're going to be able to do. So let's look at our equipment again. Owl Bracer is the best I have, but maybe Aerith would want a Wood Sprite Armlet. Although we'd be giving up defense, and I really want her to have defense. Maybe we give that to somebody else. Oh, and while I'm in here, let's give Tifa some power wrist guards. And I don't know, maybe Tifa could take the Wood Sprite Armlet? Currently got the copper bracer. Well, it's actually just worse. Although it is linked materia rather than two materia slots. But uh, I don't know. Maybe we give it to, to Barrett, and then he can just have more materia slots because it's the same defense as the metal bracer. So maybe that's the way to go. Let's do that. Let's give him the wood sprite armlet, and then that gives him another. Another materia slot. Uh, so what do we give him? Guess we could give him wind materia. Sure, why not? That'll work. Cool. Uh, let's see, how are we doing for accessories though? Red 13 has a crescent moon charm, which makes him take less damage when he's not being controlled. Guess we could keep that. Power wrist guards, power wrist guards. Headband? Uh, no, Barrett, you don't need a headband. Let's give you Bulletproof Vest. Give you some more defense and some more vitality. Alright, the rest of this seems good. Seems good. Alrighty, so... Our quest is complete, and we are all done here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.